We asked some of your fellow passengers on social media to show us their best formal night attire, and the response was overwhelming. Just a reminder that all proceeds from our YouTube channel are donated to charity. Please help us help others by giving us a thumbs up or subscribing to our channel. Your support makes a difference. Using some of our own pictures as well as pictures from your fellow cruisers, we're going to answer several questions about formal night. Things like, well, what is formal night? How fancy is it? What should I wear? What should I not wear? Do I have to dress up? Will I still be able to eat if I don't dress up? How many formal nights can I expect on my cruise? And then we'll give you some tips. Tips like fabrics that will travel well, how to pack your formal wear, where to shop and more. And then lastly, we'll give you some ideas from us and from your fellow cruisers. So let's get to it. Now we know that a lot of you seasoned cruisers really know what formal night is, but there may be some people that are new to cruising that wonder what is formal night. Just like the name says, formal night is the evening on a cruise when the dress code goes from casual to something that's a little more elegant. It's really a chance for passengers on the ship to put their best foot forward and have an evening out that feels more special than just going to the dining room to grab some dinner. You'll find people around the ship that are dressed up, and that usually includes the crew as well. They'll be having drinks, taking formal pictures, either by the cruise ship photographers or with their cell phones, and enjoying dinner and a show. Think of it as a special event where passengers have an elegant, almost date night, that's more memorable than just another dinner on the ship. Probably the biggest question around formal night is, what should I wear? What's acceptable is really wide ranging. No, you don't have to go out and get a tuxedo or a formal evening gown unless you really want to. You will see people around the ship that go out in their best evening gowns and tuxedos, but you really don't have to do this. Women can wear a cocktail dress or a nice blouse with pants. And for men, it's fine to wear a suit. You can wear this with or without a tie. You could even wear a button-down shirt and a pair of slacks if you really don't want to get too fancy. Nice jeans are probably okay as well, although personally, we suggest something just a little bit more dressy. The one thing that we are sure about is wear what makes you comfortable. Make sure that you wear comfortable shoes because you will be doing a lot of walking during the evening and also wear something that you feel comfortable eating a large meal because usually the best meals are served on formal night. Another common question is, do I really have to dress up? Absolutely not. Your cruise is your cruise. If you don't want to dress up for the evening, then you certainly don't have to. Many people choose just to keep it casual and they decide to wear shorts and a t-shirt. And if that's as formal as you want to get, then you won't be alone. But if you decide not to dress up, it's really a good idea to dine outside of the main dining room or some of the higher end specialty restaurants. These are the spots that require nicer dress during the formal nights. However, this is really ship dependent. So there's really no clear cut guide to whether you'll be able to dine in the formal dining room or in any of the specialty restaurants if you choose not to dress up. There are many casual dining venues on board every princess ship, although the names generally will change according to the ship. Our favorite places to eat when we don't get dressed up on formal night are the World Fresh Marketplace, the Horizon Court Buffet, the International Cafe, Slice by the Pool, or Gigi's or Alfredo's Pizzerias. Another common question is how many formal nights will I have on my cruise? This is pretty well spelled out on the Princess website. For cruises of a length of one to four days, there won't be any formal nights. For five to six days, there will be one formal night. For seven to 13 days, two formal nights, 14 to 20 days, three formal nights, 21 to 28 days, four formal nights, 
and over 29 days, at least five formal nights. The night of the cruise that these will fall on is really at the ship's discretion. You can expect if you're on a holiday cruise, like a New Year's Eve cruise, that New Year's Eve will be a formal night. All right, well, why don't we get on to some tips, like what kind of fabrics to wear, where to shop, and how to pack your formal wear. First of all, what fabrics? Well, when I'm looking for a dress, I usually try to find things that are already have either a wrinkled look or have a polyester type fabric. Other fabrics that we choose are lace fabrics or knit fabrics. And we really pick all of these type of fabrics because they pack really well and don't wrinkle very much in your luggage. One last great design that packs really well and looks great on formal night are sequins. You can really up your game with either a sequin dress or even a sequin top. And always remember that it can be a little chilly on board a cruise ship. A nice pashmina can not only keep you warmer but also elevate your look. Now how about some packing tips? We like to keep our formal wear in a plastic dry cleaning bag. The formal wear is usually the last thing to go in our suitcase laid on top of all of our other clothes. We fold our formal wear with as few creases as possible while it is in the dry cleaning bag. We like to bring downy wrinkle releaser in a travel size, and this is great if your clothes happen to wrinkle when they're packed. Take your clothes out immediately when you arrive, hang them up. We like to hang our clothes in the bathroom when we shower, but beforehand, we will spray them with the wrinkle releaser and we will hang a clip hanger to the bottom of our clothing for extra weight while they're hanging in the shower area. But as a last resort, Princess always has self-service clothes irons as well as laundry service for a fee. And lastly, let's give you some ideas from your fellow cruisers and also give you some ideas of where to shop. Shein is a very common online site for most people's cruise formal wear. Shein has a very big inventory, so use the filters on the left-hand side to narrow down the options of what you want to see. This is a dress that comes from Shein, and the cost of this was under $40. Another favorite online site for formal wear is Zara. Ted Baker is a personal favorite of mine. The thing I love most about Ted Baker clothes are how they fit and also the fabrics. The fabrics always pack perfectly and have no wrinkles on arrival. This is a favorite Ted Baker dress of mine that I have worn to many occasions. And then this is another Ted Baker dress that I've worn on many cruises. Another popular suggestion from fellow cruisers is to shop for dresses at Neiman Marcus. Neiman Marcus offers free shipping and free returns so you can try things on at home. Our advice is watch for sales throughout the year and use the filters on the left-hand side to narrow down the price. This is a long maxi dress that came from Neiman Marcus. And then this is one other form-fitting dress that I got from Neiman Marcus on sale and have worn many times. Another common suggestion for both men and women was to shop at Macy's. Macy's has a great selection of menswear for cruisers of all ages, and there's often many sales. They also have free shipping and free returns. And we love this jumpsuit that comes from Macy's. And in fact, in this picture, I'm wearing a jumpsuit that comes from Macy's, and I dressed it up with a nice purse and a pair of heels. Jumpsuits or a nice pair of pants and a top are common recommendations from your fellow cruisers. The last tip is what do you do about the young people in your cruising party? We know that young people typically will grow out of something as soon as you buy it for them. Some young people may want to dress up and some may not. Young boys would probably be fine in just a pair of khakis and a collared shirt. We think the bottom line for young people is do whatever makes them comfy. 
but be sure to take advantage of these opportunities to get great family photos. So let's see more of what your fellow cruisers are wearing of all ages.
We hope you enjoyed our ultimate guide to formal nights on Princess Cruise Lines with tips. And we really hope that you enjoy cruising and formal nights as much as we do. Always remember to make meaningful and healthy travel happen. And we'll see you next time.